What's up everyone? If you want to take store-bought ginger and turn it into freshly grown ginger ready to go into your garden, well then this video is for you. So all you need to really do is take a bowl, put your ginger in water in the bowl, make sure you change that water out every now and then, probably every two to three days. And what's going to happen is you're going to get ginger growing from these little sections on the plant. And you might think, hey, I can just plant the whole ginger. And that's true. You can just plant the entire ginger, but you can also snap these off. So if you can see here, there is a mat of roots here on the bottom, but if I was to break off one of these stems, I would be breaking off and pretty much being able to use all of this root mass. So if I broke that off right there, boom, you can see almost none of it is attached to the actual old ginger. So by breaking these off, you're freeing the plant of just some dead matter that maybe would have rotted out or just wouldn't have done as well. So you can see it's a little bit of a sloppy mess here but here's our old ginger right here, and there's even some more roots, so I'll end up putting that back in the water to try to get more. But right here, we have two separate, or semi-separate, I guess I'll keep these together because the roots are a little clumped up, but two nice, healthy, good white root ginger stems that I can go ahead and plant, and these are gonna produce a ton of ginger for me. So I've gone ahead and separated them. You can see the roots are nice and healthy and they are going to be really good ginger producers for me, especially because they have a head start. They're really doing well already. So let's go ahead and get them out in the garden. We've got two gin ginger in various stages of life, I guess you could say. We have some very young ginger here that I'm gonna go ahead and try to plant, and we'll see how that one does. I think it, it's just gonna take a little bit longer to get established. You're gonna wanna plant it roots down, stem up, about an inch deep or so. So we'll put one right there, and we'll put the other right here, roots down, stem up. This other ginger is a bit more mature, so I'm gonna make sure and I dig out a little bit more, give it a little more space, bury it slightly deeper, give it a nice amount of room to establish itself. So we'll get that one in there nice and deep. Good mulch is gonna help with ginger too because it really likes to remain pretty moist. Let's put one over here too. And we are pretty much good to go, guys. I'm gonna cover up these holes, we'll water it in, we'll add a little bit of extra mulch, and I think we'll be good to go. If you've grown ginger, let me know in the comments down below what your success has been, any pro tips. I know that ginger likes a lot of moisture, decent amount of space, it likes some nutrition, and besides that, it's a pretty easy grower. Like many plants that grow with rhizomes, they're rhizomatic plants, uh, they are sort of weedy type of plants. It's not a big deal. You can grow them pretty easily. Ginger is pretty easy to grow, and it's very delicious. You can use it in just about almost any cuisine that your heart desires. You can turn it into candy, you can do all sorts of epic things with it. So there you go, ginger from store-bought ginger into a garden and epic ginger harvests in no time, guys. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing. Stay spicy.